Hello, my beautiful fusion fam. If you're new to this channel, my name is Joanna. Please consider subscribing and joining our intercultural family. We'll be preparing a simple chicken dish using a no fuss chocolate mole sauce that's sweet, savory, and a little bit of spice. A bit like Latin love. By no fuss mole, I mean we're gonna be getting some help from Doña Maria's pre made mole paste. Additionally, I'll be teaching you guys how to make a hibiscus flower infused flan. It sounds a lot fancier than it is, but it's really simple to make. Both of these dishes really complement Valentine's Day because we're gonna be using using chocolate and flowers. You'll find all the ingredients along with the measurements down in the description box. Enough talking y manos a la obra. You'll need Doña Maria mole sauce, Nestle abuelita chocolate, some garlic, one medium onion, some chicken bouillon, peanut butter, sesame seeds, and some chicken. To a clean pot, add your chicken, water, an onion, some garlic, cover, set to medium high, Turn off the heat after 30 minutes. You can use the oil in the pre-made mole sauce or discard it. Add four cups of chicken stock, chicken bouillon, some chocolate, pre-made mole paste, set to a low flame. Give it a gentle whisk until well dissolved. Some peanut butter. In lieu of using ground nuts, we're going to use peanut butter instead. Give it a good whisk. Once your sauce is complete, add your chicken and be sure to coat it generously. Cover and simmer on low heat for 20 minutes. Use any excess stock to make some tasty rice. Now you're ready to serve. Just sprinkle some sesame seeds and you're done. For our Valentine's Day flan, you're going to need a can of sweetened condensed milk, a can of evaporated milk, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, three eggs, half a cup of sugar, two cinnamon sticks, three star anise pods, and half a cup of dried hibiscus flowers, which you can find at any Hispanic market. Quickly rinse your hibiscus. To a saucepan, add your evaporated milk, sweetened condensed milk, some vanilla extract, throw in some star anise, a few cinnamon sticks, your hibiscus flowers, set to medium flame. Keep stirring until the mixture becomes lukewarm. This is important because you don't want your milk to curdle. Set aside in a bowl, cover, set aside in the fridge for at least three hours or best overnight. To a mixing bowl, add three whole eggs. Whisk your eggs. Now take your hibiscus infused milk mixture and pass it through a sieve to combine with your eggs. To help our flan have a silky texture, pass it through a sieve a second time. On medium high heat, sprinkle some sugar in a stainless steel pan. Don't stir your sugar, just wait until it becomes a pretty amber color. Once this happens, begin swirling your pan to evenly melt the rest of the sugar. Remove from the heat, evenly distribute the caramel throughout the flan molds that you'll be using. Fill your saucepan with water, boil, and rinse. Create your oven to 275. Place a kitchen towel inside a casserole dish. Place your flan molds inside the larger baking dish. Evenly distribute the custard mixture. Remove any air bubbles from on top of the custard. Now cover each flan mold with foil. This keeps the moisture in and prevents the flan from browning on top. Pour enough hot water into your larger baking pan to come halfway up the sides of your baking molds. Place on the middle rack of your oven. Bake for 50 minutes. After baking, remove the foil. The center should have a slight jiggle. The sides of your flan should be smooth. Once completely cooled, remove from the water bath, cover, and chill in the fridge for at least three hours or overnight. For this topping, you'll need water, sugar, dried hibiscus flowers, and some strawberries. Cut your strawberries into quarters. I like to remove the core. To a saucepan, add strawberries, sugar, hibiscus, water. Heat this on low heat just until the sugar dissolves. One school transfer to a pretty serving dish, and you're done! Run a knife around the edges, put a plate on top, and flip over. Place the topping on top, and you're done! See you guys at the next video! Suerte!